Hey cousin, so I had a comment under my Judge Mathis um, video, the video I did talking about uh, how people are saying Judge Mathis' wife is going back to the streets, uh, back to the streets from when she came. I don't even think the woman was ever in the streets. If anybody was in the streets, it's Judge Mathis, and that a lot of people are saying how, you know, where is she going with her old coochie? Remember that? Check that video out if you didn't see it. So below in the comments, I see a comment that I want to do a quick video on. This is, I guess she changed her name, but on the screenshot I took, it says Tanya. Tanya says, right here, let me highlight it. Can y'all see that? Tanya says, Janice thinks every black woman should be able to find a college educated black man who comes from a two parent house. This woman married a unicorn and thinks that every other black woman should be able to do so also. So Tanya, I don't know if you're new here, but are you saying black men are not unicorns? Is that what you're saying? Hmm? Are you saying black men are not unicorns? Is that what you're saying? Let me know. I'm trying to clarify. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it just sounds like that's what you're saying. And um, again, maybe you're new here, uh, but everybody that has been on my channel for any length of time knows that I teach what? A husband is a choice. You get to choose the husband you want to spend the rest of your life with. Hey, cousins, this is my fourth video for today, but I'm sitting here taking out these braids, and I just want to hit this, this video really quick, okay? Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Is that what y'all think about me? First of all, I don't know why any Black woman would not want to choose a good husband. Okay, a husband is a choice. In my book, 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet, I wrote about 23 different types of guys. I'm thinking it's about 300 different guys I talk about in here that you need to choose the best husband for you. In my new book coming very soon, fingers crossed by my birthday, dating is for data. I talk about the number of guys I dated. What does dating mean? Dating means to do what? Gather information. Data, dating does not mean meet him, make him your man, sleep with him, make babies with him, shack up with him, build a life with him, struggle with him. No, no, no. That is not what dating is. In my, in my uh, husband profile course, I teach and help women to figure out the type of man that is best for them. Every woman, man is different. The type of man I like might not be the type of man you like. In my first class, I talked about how one of the ladies, she uh, said that her man needed to make five hundred thousand dollars a year the husband she was going to choose the husband for her makes five hundred thousand dollars a year we all fell out but she lives in california so if you live in california uh five hundred thousand dollars in california is like 150 200 thousand dollars here in new york which is my type of man okay because i asked my husband i said michael what is five hundred dollars $500,000 comparable to in New York. He was like about one fifty two hundred. dollars okay? In the same class, I had another young woman who said her man needs to make $50,000 a year. We all fell out. We was like, 50000 girls, what? She was like, I live in the Midwest. My rent is $600. This was this year in 20 and 24. So living in the Midwest, she believes her husband needs to make uh, $50,000. So dating is for data. It is figuring out the type of man you like. If you want a unicorn, you need to choose a unicorn. I knew what I liked. I've always liked well-educated men, well-established men, men who can provide for me and my daughter, men that can profess and protect, a man that I can submit to, respect, and honor and adore. Now, here's the thing about respect. Respect, ladies, is not an after marriage fact. Respect is a before marriage. So you choose a man who is respectable. You choose a man who you think is a good man. 
Don't choose any man and then pray and stress yourself out into respecting him, honoring him, and adoring him. Choose a man who has a good name. So for me, I wanted a man who was born again. I wanted a man that was raised with a mother and a father. I wanted a man who was educated. I wanted a man who was a gentleman. I wanted a man who gave to God. I wanted a man who was kind and generous. I wanted a man who is a good man. The Bible says a good man lives in inheritance for his children's children. You can't tell me you're 40 and you don't have no savings, no investments, no retirement, no money you're saving for your future and for your children. Come on, church. A husband is a choice. Whoever you choose to be your husband is your choice. You need to figure it out. So if you want a unicorn, to me, saying my husband is a unicorn is crazy because 50 years ago, black men valued education. Black men valued a good name. Black men valued family. So what happened? My husband is in his 50s. What happened? I'm almost 50. What happened? Why is it that my husband, who is college educated, has a corporate job, comes from a two-parent name, does not have children all over the place, is a good man, has a good name, why is he a unicorn? Why isn't my husband the standard in the black community? Why do you feel that I think my husband is a unicorn and I want every woman to get a unicorn? No, no, no. I want what you want because what? A husband is a choice. You get to choose your husband. You get to say yes or no when he proposed to you. You get to date him or not date him when he approaches you. When you walk down to the aisle and the pastor asks you, do you, Janice Andrea Hilton, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to love and to hold, to cherish, to honor, to disrespect and obey in sickness and in health, for richer, for richer. You get to say yes or no. So why, ma'am? Do you think, I think, every black woman should get a unicorn? I think every black woman should choose the best husband for her. If a blue collar guy that's struggling is the best husband for you, then this, that's the best husband for you. But don't cry later, because you know what I'm going to say, girl. A husband is a choice. You should have made a better choice. Don't come crying to me that you can't respect him. Don't cry at me talking about, I, 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 I help me pray. I'm praying that I be respect him because I'm going to tell you, you should have made sure he was a man you could have respected before you married him. I would never have married my husband if I didn't respect him before. If I did not admire my husband, if I didn't honor him, if I didn't respect him, if I didn't adore him, if I didn't think he has a good name, I would not have married him. This night, my husband, this man right here told me after he invited his frat brothers from all over the country to come meet me in New York, we had an event. When they all approved of me, he told me he loved me. And you know what I said? Take me to Wall Street and give me the your W-2s. I need to see your W-2s. I need to decide if I love you too. I need to see the W-2s. I need to see your retirement plan. And then after that, I said, take me down to the bank to do see the say. You said you're saving, right? Huh? Take me down to the bank. Because see, for me, for Janice, I'm not about to marry no man in his 40s who don't have a retirement plan. 
I'm not about to marry a man in his 40s who have no savings. I'm not about to marry no man in his 40s living paycheck to paycheck. I'm not about to marry no man in his 40s who ain't got no good name. I'm not about to marry no man who can put me in a house in his 40s. I'm not going to marry no man who expects me to pay bills. And they lay down with you, make a baby, carry the babies for, for 10 months. Then I'm going to turn around and pay some bills. No, I'm not going to marry that man. What Cousin Janice want is for every woman who listens to me to choose the best husband for you. So the question is, ma'am, who is the best husband for you? Hmm? Who's the best husband for you? You get to choose him. In 20 and 24, ain't nobody forcing no man on you. At least I don't think so. Who's forcing somebody on you? And even if I want a unicorn for all my girls, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with wanting all the ladies, the single ladies that listen to my, my content to want a good husband? A husband that you can respect and honor and adore. This is my logo here. It says, I teach single women learn how to date for marriage only, skillfully gather data and choose a Christ-like husband. I want every Christian woman who listens to me to choose single woman, to choose a Christ-like husband. I have lots of other ladies to listen to me. So they have to decide, you know, who's their religious figure. I want every woman, single woman, single cousins that listen to me to choose a good husband, a good man with a good name. And he know he doesn't have to be a white collar. If he's a mechanic and he's a good man, he has a good name. And if that's what you like, go right ahead. That's just not for me. I don't do blue, blue color guys. I don't like blue color guys. And that's okay. I want every woman to figure out what is your husband? Who is your husband? And this is why I created the husband profile course for every woman to figure out who is your husband? Who is he? Is he a criminal? Is he a man that can't keep a job? Is he in debt? Does he not have a good name? Is he a man that has 55 kids all over the world? Is he an abuser, an alcoholic? Is he half step in his faith or is he a good man? Is he a skilled man, whether it's a mechanic or an educated man? Does he have options? Is he marketable? My husband is extremely marketable. My husband can walk into any organization that is in his company, my husband is marketing, and walk out with a job. In my other video, I did this morning about the woman who left her husband 30 days after he lost his job to go sleep with her friend. I said, my husband could stay home for a whole year if he chose not to go to work and we still gonna be okay. You know why? I'm a wise woman. We've been married going on 12 years, boo-boo. In 12 years, I have saved my income because my husband pays all of our bills. The only bill I pay is our health insurance because my health insurance is cheaper than my husband's. When I got married 11, 12 years ago, at that time, 12 years ago, my husband health insurance for a family would have been $12, $1,249 every two weeks. My health insurance was like $176 or something like that. So it's cheaper for my insurance for us to be in my insurance. Plus we live in New Jersey. My husband worked in New York at the time. So 
So who is your husband? Is he a unicorn? Is he a good man with a good name? Is he saved? Is he filled with the Holy Ghost? Is God the head of his life? Is he a tither? Is he kind? Is he generous? Does he have control over his dingling? Is he abusive or is he tender and loving towards you? Does he want you to work and pay half the bills or is he a provider? Does he, has he professed his love for you or has he made you 10 years a girlfriend? Who is your husband? Every woman gets to make that choice. So please, ma'am, don't come over here with your emotional, hurt, angry, bitter self. Talk about Janice want every woman to get a unicorn. What's wrong with that? Don't you think black women deserve unicorns? Don't you think black women deserve to be loved and provided for and taken care of and protected and professed to? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with black women? Don't you think we deserve that? <clears throat> but I know one thing. I'm taking, I'm taking it this two way. One, you're not married. And you ain't going to get you no unicorn. Okay? Because you don't think it's possible. Faith is the source of things. Hopefully, there are things I've seen. Hebrews 11 and 1. Either one. You're not married and you ain't going to get you no unicorn. Or two, you're married and you're definitely not married to a unicorn. But whatever your situation is, the power is in your hands. You get to choose. You get to choose. I also love a good looking man because I understand ugly men make ugly babies. And I don't want no ugly babies. I want handsome babies. You see my baby, he, he handsome. He ham, ham, my dad would say handsome. He handsome, my dad's from down south. He handsome. See my boy? Gorgeous. I want, I wanted a man that my son will would be proud to call daddy. And I would be proud to call a husband. And he could have his name. And he would look up to him. And my son will not be embarrassed on career day. day when my husband have to go and talk about what he do, he won't be one of those kids with the daddy walking around with his pants hanging down his knees. Again, a husband is a choice. You get to choose the man you want to spend the rest of your life with. You get to choose the man you respect, you honor, you adore. You get to choose the man who gets to put his name on you. You get to choose the man who you submit to, you come under his vision for your life. So I'm trying to understand why you're mad, man. My book, The Infidate, is coming soon. I'm going to try to get this to y'all by my birthday, okay? I absolutely love you. Let me know what you think about this below, 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 below. I love you. This is video number four. I'm, girl, I'm sitting here taking these braids out. Let me know what you think. Love you, my darlings. Bye. Oh, thank you so much for those of you showing me love and support. Yes, even though I have a husband that provides for me, I sit here almost every day and make videos for you. The Bible says if you plant a seed, you will get a harvest. So yes, I do for those of you who have issues with me asking people to, to show me love and support with my books. You don't have any problem showing anybody else love and support. But you got problems showing the Christian with a husband who provide love and support. Hmm. When the Bible says, if you plant a seed, what are, what is the seed? My books, my YouTube channel, you will get a harvest. And thank for those of you who join my membership, picking up my books on Amazon. Remember to go back and leave me a glowing five-star review. This, The Leah In Me, is a free book on uh, my blog. You can pick it up. Uh, there's a free sample of Datas for Data on my blog. There's a free sample of my husband profile also on my blog. Uh, Freedom Money. I don't think I have a free sample coming very soon. Truth and Tesla Guys, my first book. That's going to be doing a reprint. And of course, uh, Truth and Tesla Guys, there's a free sample of that on my book. The Naked Wife. Also, I have a free sample on my blog, JaniceHiltonMentoring.com. You can pick up those free samples. Thank you, my darlings. I love you. I love it. Also, 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 this one, How to Not Give Boyfriend Husband Benefits. Okay. Y'all being 10 years a girlfriend and mad about me talking about I want every woman to have a, a unicorn. Well, why not? What's wrong? 
<laughs> I got to go, girl. I need to go take my nap. Bye.